Let's keep this beat in Elina. Your second point in a row. Let's talk about this game. It looked like an end game. Masterclass. Well, I don't know if it was Masterclass. Uh, I think up to a point she was, she was really fine. Um, it's very interesting position because she has this knife on A3, which is offside. But it has the potential of reaching a good square, and if it does, then, then I might actually be risking uh, a position a little bit. But in the game, it all worked out well. But I, I thought there were some moments where she could have kept the balance. Yeah, but eventually, <laughs> experience uh, prevails or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you started maneuvering your rook and then your king. When do you think uh, when do you think things started turning that her position? Yeah, there was there was a very clear moment. I think at some point. She her rook from c5 to c3, and that allowed me to play rook d4, and that was, I think, then I'm completely in control. So then, at that point, uh, um, yeah, it's just very good for black, I think. I don't know if it's already winning, but it's, it must be close already uh, at that point. So that, was, that was clear. I think up to that point, it's, it's still not so, not so clear. And with that win, you move to eight points with one round to go. You are in the mix behind the leaders, but in the mix, and especially you play uh, Maurizzi who has been leading almost throughout the tournament, you play him yourself tomorrow. Have you played him before? I played him here because he played the challenges uh, before. I'm not sure which year, uh, a couple of years ago. 